joined by shots uh, wingers Shamir Fenelon and Ify Allen after the, the point at Southport. A um, little bit of a, a frustrating point, but equally, uh, you know, we've we've come from, we've come from behind to get a point. Um, Shamir, can I ask you for your initial reaction to today's game? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we, we didn't play nowhere near to our, our best. It's uh, disappointing with that, but to come from behind, I think we've done it the other day as well. That's a positive. That's probably the only positive we can take from today. We come from behind, we come away with something, but it's not good enough. Do you think, Shamir, that we? I'm gonna, I can't ask you for this because he was on the bench to start with. But do you think we started with enough intensity today, with enough tempo, given? the troubles that Southport have had and the, and the number of goals they conceded? Not really, I don't think so. I think we were just too open, I don't think we had any control over the game. I mean, we just end-to-end -end sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Where we should be controlling the game and, and sort of pinning them in their half and taking our time and we just end-to-end. -end. And obviously, obviously, they're down near the other end of the table, so for them, that's sort of what they, they want that against us, do you know what I mean? They want it to be end-to-end, -end, so yeah, there's no control in the game. If you watched um, a, a lot of the game from the bench and you know you are, would have had a similar view to us there um, it did seem at times that we were quite good in creating the opening and the opportunity of good little balls but perhaps a little bit wasteful with the finishing do you think we should have been ahead in the first half? Yeah um, we should have we had some chances but obviously it wasn't finished um, I think we need to be more clinical in front of goal because we're, we're obviously getting the opportunities we could have finished the game from the first half but no, it's happened Taking it back, if we can briefly, to Tuesday, I think we collectively thought you had a really, really good game yourself. The first 90 minutes of the season for you. Unfortunately, we weren't able to talk to you after the game, if you, because I understand you weren't too well. Uh, uh, as politely as you can, please, you know, explain what, what, what was actually happening for you. Did, were you struggling during the game, or was it just at the end? Yeah, no, I was struggling um, from the start of the game. Had a bad belly. Um, turned out to be a bug in the end. So after the game, I was vo vomiting, mm. diarrhea. Yeah. Yes, not too good. And uh, I guess. Although that was a good solid 90 minutes from you and a good performance, um, I, I guess uh, when, the, when, when the manager's looking around at who he feels fully fit enough to start, I guess it was just a little bit of precaution with yourself and is that why you were left on the bench today? Um, I was, yeah, I think so, yeah. So I've been told, so it is what it is. But as long as you come on the pitch and you do what you've got to do and contribute to the team, that's all that matters at the end of it. Yeah. Fitness has been quite key. All the shots scored some late goals this season, Shamir, and we've come back from behind on more than one occasion now. It did seem at the end of the game our energy levels were really, really good. Um, conversely, from a fan's point of view, that's somewhat frustrating, isn't it? That we were, we'd still got energy in the tank at the end. Um, let's start out positive though and, 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 and look at the goal, which you had a big hand in. Um, I think Will Evans has actually just uh, converted possession and fed Jake, who knocked a ball out to you on the wing. Just take us through your thoughts and what you did then. Yeah, well, I think I sort of won a one with defender and there was space there, so I thought just make sure my first touch is sort of past him. Mm. So that's what I've done, the first touch sort of made, made up my mind that like the first touch that went past him, and obviously they was all running backwards, so I thought just keep it low, and either I will get onto it or it'll come up on an air player, so yeah, just keep it low. And just a, two or three minutes later, a really similar opportunity actually, possibly a little wider, I'm not sure, but Jake's fed you again, and this time, you decided to have a shot. Was that just because you felt you were in advance of the other order shot players, or did it just sit nice? Yeah, I just, I just fancied myself. It was sort of from the angle. I thought if I could just get it across goal, but to be honest, I think it actually hit a little, a little bubble or something like that. That's why I went that far over. No, oh, we'll back you on that one then, <laughs> um, Shamir. You had to come off quite early in the game on Tuesday night as well. Was that also due to illness? Same as if you, yeah. Yeah. Same thing. But, like, as soon as I come off, I went down the tunnel and I was, I was vomiting. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but yeah. So you obviously had to dig deep into your reserves to try and pull out 90 minutes today. How are you feeling now? A lot better. Yeah, like wellness, I felt alright, but obviously my body's my body's tired. Yeah, my body is tired, but I felt fine. That wellness, no illness. Given the relatively small squad that Aldershot Town have got, is it a relief in some respects that we've now got a full week to, to get everybody right back up to the uh, to the level before we uh, take to the field again next week against Gateshead? Yeah, I think it would be good to obviously get a, a four weeks training. And obviously everyone got a few people coming back from injury. Um, obviously Charlie, obviously there's a game Tuesday night I think as well, so a few of the boys might plan that to get a bit more In fitness. the Hampshire Cup against Bashley, exactly, that's right. Like, so I think Towards the end of the next week, we should be almost back to the fully, fully sort of fit squad. And if he, you know, it's just, it maybe it's not necessarily unfair to ask you this, but you've been in and you've been out of the team. We set standards, didn't we, that culminated with a great performance against Tranmere 14 days ago, and then since then we've 
had three games and we've had three draws and I think we collectively accept that we've not quite hit the same level of standard. Can you give us any pointers as to how you feel or why that might be? Um, to be honest, the team's still trying, we're trying very hard. It's just, it's just what happens on the day really, like we're putting in all the effort, we're doing what we're doing on the training pitch, so there's not much I can really say about that. We're just giving it 100%, just didn't get the result we wanted today. Well, good impact when you came on, and I think it's fair to say that Aldershot Town finished the game an awful lot better than they started today. And we take the point, unbeaten in six, and we move on. Thanks very much for joining us, lads. Thank you. Cheers.